Hello. To start with your new project in Visual Studio Code, you will need to first find the htdocs folder in the XAMPP installation. So let's find the XAMPP installation for folder first. Mine is in the this PC. I go to local disk, then I go to XAMPP folder. Yours might be in a different location. So you need to find the XAMPP installation folder. Once you find it, go inside it and find the htdocs folder. Open it and there create your new project folder. I will name mine PHP in Visual Studio Code. That's it, the new folder, uh, project folder is created. Now you can open Visual Studio Code. A new project folder is uh, already open for me as I opened it before. Let me close it first, file, close folder or control KF, then we go file open folder and find the folder we just created. Again, local disk C, XAMPP, htdocs and PHP in Visual Studio Code folder. And hit select folder. Once the folder is opened, we create our first PHP file. So, right click a new file or go to this icon, new file and click it. I will name my file index.php. Remember the PHP extension must be used whenever creating a file that has PHP code in it. This is to let the server know that this file has PHP code that needs to be executed. Open the file to write the first PHP code. Write the left angle bracket question mark and write the PHP word. I will call the PHP info function. and hit semicolon to end the statement. And close the PHP tag, question mark, and right angle bracket. To be able to run this, you need to have Apache server up and running in XAMPP control panel. If you don't know how to find the XAMPP control panel, follow this path. Find your XAMPP installation folder and inside it, find Sam control open it here we just need to start the Apache service hit start and wait for it to turn green if it is green it has started and is running I will minimize this and this to open the web browser Make some window arrangements first. In the browser, I write localhost PHP in Visual Studio Code slash index.php. Here's the folder name we just created, and this part is the file name. Let's run it. Okay, for some reason it is not working. The problem is that if you see this dot here, it means that the file is not saved. Control S to save the file. And I will, if I refresh the page, it loads the sh and shows the PHP information page. My PHP version is 7.3.6, yours might be different depending on your XAMPP PHP installation. Let me close this page and back to the index.php file. For a better look, you can move the closing tag down and have as many plain lines as you want. For 
better look uh, hit tab the for presentation I will write echo open the parentheses and write hello there always after each PHP line you must close and write semicolon to end the line don't forget to save it control s now we're upon the file in the web browser and there you go hello there is printed so we just made our first index PHP script and that's all for this video see you next time take care and bye